morning. Today I'm doing an unboxing video from Eastwood. Had a lot of people suggest this equipment, so I'm going to open this up and show you what our first load from Eastwood is uh, going to contain. So here we go. So this one's a really great one. So this is the contour tool. I've seen a lot of different YouTubers use it on this to uh, clean um, all kinds of different varying surfaces that are, um, you know, have dimples in them or whatever to clean welds out and remove uh, paint panels and, and everything. So this was a big one that uh, everybody suggested. With that, got 40 grit for the heavy stuff, 240 grit for the fine polishing, 80 grit stripping paint, 120 grit for the medium stuff. Can of 415 for the back of the panels. Man, this stuff is really, really expensive. So you want to make sure that you keep it good and sealed. It's tough, tough to keep good without hardening, but it is awesome to get you know everything sealed up really well. Flanger tool, flanger, and also hole punch to make it so that we can fillet weld uh, the panels together so yeah this this one was a must okay then we've got these uh, inner panel clips so that when you cut out your panels you can get a good square edge this one I, I already have one set but this is uh, another set and it looks like it's been opened. So that's not good. It says eight, so I won't. So they didn't short me. Although it did break open. So get that one back in the box. Put all this stuff back in. This thing's heavy. Probably should add that I'm not sponsored by Eastwood, and Eastwood didn't send me this for free. I purchased all this myself. Eastwood sticker, definitely going in the new shop. Parts list. Sandpapers. First door block set. This was recommended by everybody that I that I talked to and I mean lots of body men and then also people on the on the uh, internet who are working on cars yeah throw a block make sure you get it so got that got a whole bunch of different grits sandpaper 80 uh, 120 180 grit I'm gonna have to get some more Ten piece, three eighths drive SAA hex bit set. Didn't order it, but thanks a lot, Eastwood. Must be my gift set. Got a descaler. So get on those 
nasty spots. We've got a, a eight and three quarter rear end and a in the CUDA that needs this really bad. So got this, we descale it. Then various clamps, vice grip clamps for welding panels. Some that I had didn't have. So that's what's inside the box today. Thanks for joining me. And hopefully we have another inside the box coming soon. Hey everybody, so this is happening really fast, but um, we just found a project car that we are going to make a jump on if it turns out being good. So we're just leaving right now and we have to be two hours away uh, as quick as we can so that it doesn't disappear on Facebook Marketplace. So um, really fast deal, um, it's a car we're going to get up and going it's a roller right now it's supposed to have an engine that comes with it um i don't want to explain it too much till i get down there and get a video of it but let's say it's uh different for us it will be the first of this four letter car company that we've ever bought so really um different for us like i said so danny and i are jumping in the truck gonna make a two-hour drive Hopefully everything turns out with the, with the deal, but we'll have to find out when we get there. So here we go. Project car number two, coming up. Okay, so today I removed the exhaust pipes that were hanging in there. And I removed the old gas tank, which is not gonna work for me because I'm gonna have fuel injection. So, this tank, while it looks like it's in fairly good shape, there was nothing in it, it is not going to work for me. So I don't know whether I'm going to clean that up and see if I can see if somebody wants it or, you know, what have you. But um, it's an original tank. It's a, Like I said, it's in good shape. I don't see anything that would cause me to think otherwise. Um, but, hey, if you're interested in the tank, hit me up in the messages and... Uh, We'll see about getting it to you. So the body underneath the tank actually looks pretty good. But like I said, up in this area, not so much. It's got some damage. It's got some damage up in here. Some scale that I don't, I don't think I can live with. It's got some holes there I don't know I'm gonna descale it and see how bad it is but I'm pretty sure that I don't know I'm gonna descale it we'll look at it when it's done being descaled and see see if we can live with that panel So I'm, I'm thinking not, but you know, um, I don't want to do this twice. So going to take a good look and this kind of looks like a patch to me right here. And then I don't know if you can see that, but you know, it's like, there's been things done there. I mean, that's obvious patch, but I don't know if in this one too, but this is Fender Flare City. So I'm not sure. If it's the fender flare that's reason it's like that but also like I said this has to be widened out to here so that we can fit a wider tire so this this tub inner tub is coming out one way or the other and then the rocker is ready to go in so this has got to come out the flares got to come out and the new quarters go on so that I can seat down in the rocker you know seat down in the rocker when I get it done so inner outers are coming out so my plan is to do the floor 
right now floor and flame frame rails I can't I can't see in there I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get right in there and take a look and and see and then I gotta crawl underneath and look and see if I've got bad spots you know if if it ends up being better than I thought do I just put a new pan in a new floor pan maybe I don't know but my I'm gonna make the jig that VGG fiber restoration did and unfortunately lost so but I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the same thing put up and put the um, jig up so I could put this exactly where it was back again so if you get a chance you should really watch his VGG uh, firebird restoration uh, he has some excellent videos in doing body work and uh, yeah really good tips um, I like his stuff um, Rusto Resto red uh, that has the kudas and the and the chargers he's really good um, anyways um, that's it for tonight um, had a long road trip today and that road trip we went and looked at a project car you know facebook marketplace is a hit and miss and the pictures that the guy had posted um looked like it needed floor plans or floor pants which uh okay i'm not scared of that in fact he said he had them which he did and he was just a young gentleman and and uh you know he was trying to make a move on his car because he lost his place to keep it so we went down and it was a 65 mustang um i'm not a ford guy never owned a ford in my whole life and uh so not that excited but it was going to be a car that we are going to restore the best we could and then flip it on to somebody who who you know is really interested in fords that would uh really enjoy it so we went down there it was about a two hour drive went down there and looked at it and uh yeah there were no frame rails in that car whatsoever at all and it was just barely sitting up so the guy was going to give us a really good deal on it and you know what for somebody it would have been an awesome deal he was asking like probably in my opinion like four times what it was worth but he was willing to come down and he was gonna come down a long 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 ways if i had a place to store it and do it i probably would have done it but tell you the truth i'm not really that interested in ford mustangs unless it would have been a 68 or 69 fastback yeah i would have done it but just a regular 65 mustang not numbers matching it was a six-cylinder car he had a 289 that he said that he had but it was the heads and intake inside the trunk and the and the um, block was you know laying on the ground and it was completely rusted um, that it that block was junk so um anyways not to talk the guys stuff down but um you know when you when you do post pictures try to be a representation of what it really is because that was not a representation of what it really was the outside panels like i said looked really good and they were good but everything inside from the doors in except for the headliner was toast so we didn't we passed on that deal and uh move on to something else now we are talking about going down and looking at another project tomorrow uh, which is another two-hour drive but we've got a lot of pictures from this guy and this is not a vintage car that we're looking at this is um something to turn into a drag and drive car so um it is a really cool project but not your normal stuff so you know if you guys are interested in drag and drive you may be interested in what our trip is like tomorrow so we'll give you a little bit heads up when we get down in there and, and take a look at it but it's pretty interesting you know what the guys got if it is half as good as what it looks, then we'll probably be getting this and create a drag and drive car, which is really what I want to do uh, with this as well, is do some drag and drives and some road courses and stuff like that. So I'm not looking to be Mr. Speed Demon, but I'm looking to have some fun. So I think that's what most people are doing. 
So we'll see what it looks like and we'll let you know tomorrow. So have a good night and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.